Hello, I'm Calm Cal. Welcome to another video. This is the 13th video, which is unlucky for some, in the Build Your Own Console series. We have got three different consoles running on this one sort of Sega Mega Drive type mini shell using Blast 16. Blast 16 has just had a update of software. So that's what we're going to go through in this video. How to back up first of all back up all your games and then install the update and then restore your games that you've got saved so without further ado let's just go back to the desktop so this is the USB stick that we've got so what we'll do we'll just delete these yep and then eject So what we're going to do now is just take out the USB stick and then plug it into our games console. So now that we're back in the main menu, you can see we've got quite a few games on here now. We've got quite a few, we've got quite a bit of a collection going on now. So we've got the Mega Drive, we've got the Master System, quite a lot of games on there, and then quite a lot of games for the, the Game Gear as well. So what I want to do now is just go into Start, select Tools and then select backup and then press A for OK now it's going to back up everything that's on the SD card all of our box art and all of our games to the USB stick which will take a little while ok so our, our games still exist on SD card so I'm just going to unplug the USB stick and then we'll just go over to our desktop and see what's on there. We just click on our file system for the USB stick. We have now got a folder called Blast 16 Backup. And it's got Blast 16, it's got BIOS, it's got data, it's got games. And it's created all the different directories for us on there. And we've got all our games. And also our box arts which is great so what we need to do now is just head over to the blast 16 website and get the latest download so here we are on the blast 16 website if we just scroll down and don't forget this button here it's the latest build to the 28th of August 2019 so that's the SD card image so we select download and it's downloading down here a zip file so 1.2 gigabytes and that'll take a few minutes uh, there's some new features that are on here I think you can actually stretch the screen as one of the new perks for the new software and a few other things as well so I just press start on here and select shutdown because I want to take out the SD card for the new image bring up our file and there we are plus 16 it's in a zip file so all I'm going to do here is unzip it. Somebody commented in one of the videos that you don't need to unzip this file. Um, if you use Etcher, then that will uncompress it as it's doing it. But I just prefer to use 7-zip. And we just extract it here. There we go, we've got the image file. So I've already put the SD card in the USB slot with my little attachment. So I've just clicked on Berliner Etcher, that popped up. So you're going to select the image, which is in the downloads folder, and it's the image file. Open. Select the drive, which is, yeah, a large file still. Don't need anywhere near this amount of size of an SD card. Not for what we need it for on Blast 16. Yeah, it's a larger drive, so I'll continue. And then we just select flash. Continue. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Now it's starting. And this will take a little while, so we'll come back to you in a minute. So just go through the flashing and then checking, and then it'll say one done. Do you want to do another? No. 
but we'll come back to that in a minute. So that's it finished flashing, so all we need to do is just close this. Open devices. Then we get to here. There we go. Remove device. Yes. So we can now take out the USB stick, which my, my SD card is plugged into. And now we can put it into the games console and then boot it up. And we get the usual error message. Wait for it to start up, and there it is, it started up. And it says, No games found. Oh, which is what we expected, really, wasn't it? So, all I'm going to do is plug that USB stick in that we've backed up to, start, and then tools, and then restore. And then restore, press A, and then hopefully it'll access the USB stick, which it looks like it is doing. So, there's quite a few games on here now. As I've stated before in the previous videos, I have got a Mega Drive Mini or Genesis Mini, whichever you prefer to call it. I have got one on order, the official one. So I will do a follow up video once I have that in my hands and I'll just do a little comparison video between this one we've created and that one that it's on its way, the official one. But I'm sure the official one is going to be brilliant. And hopefully this should be it. There we are, that's the last game that was on as well. So I've remembered everything. So I just want to press start on here. Into settings, we'll go emulation. We've got 4x3. Ah, 16x9. And then Pixel Perfect as well. So we have got the stretch screen there, the 16x9. So I was just in Shinobi. We'll try that 16x9, see what that looks like. Go into there and see what this stretch mode looks like. There we go, full screen. Press the special by mistake as well. That's it then, all back to normal. Or well, not normal, all updated. Some people will like this, some people won't. Me, I don't mind. I'll just have to try it and see what I prefer. I'm not going to make a decision right now. It is filling the screen, which I do like, but it might affect different things in gameplay. So, I've actually just purchased a Super Pie case with controller and I'm thinking about doing a different games console system which should include a lot more different options and systems than what Blast 16 can do but Blast 16 is only designed for really doing a version of the Mega Drive Mini and some of the other Sega consoles but it wasn't actually meant for that as such I'm just going to come back out of there with this new games console build that I'm going to be doing soon you will have all different systems on there so don't forget to like and subscribe I've mentioned it in videos before as well when I get up to 100 subscribers I'm doing a little bit of a competition so click the bell for notifications as well I'm hoping you're enjoying these videos I am enjoying making them and I wish to continue to do so as well Amazon keep letting me down with their affiliates program because I haven't got a lot of subscribers so if you could Please subscribe to the channel and hopefully then I can make some money off Amazon when people use the links which I can then reinvest into the channel. I am enjoying what I'm doing but it's nice to get a little bit back as well. My name is Cal, have a good morning, afternoon or good evening. Farewell till next time and I will see you later. Happy gaming.